Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be discovering a new tool that I discovered recently, which I thought was pretty cool for beginners and people that are looking to get into the offensive security space or pen testing or ethical hacking. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And the tool is called Al Hacking. So let's jump into it and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So this cool tool, I haven't really tinkered with it, but I was reading through some of the tools and I've used some of these tools. So it's really, really cool, right? So if you're an absolute beginner into offensive security or into penetration testing or ethical hacking, what is this all about? So let me go ahead and pull this over so we can see this right here, right? So let's, because uh, my head's in the way and I wanna make sure you guys can see it. All right, so what did I do? All right, here we go. So if we see here, it's an Albanian hacking tool, tools uh, tools to help you with ethical hacking, social, uh, social media hacks, phone information, Google attacks, phone number attacks, user discovery, anonymous SMS, blah, 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 all this fun stuff, right? So why would you wanna use this? If you're on an engagement, if you're trying to get social media, if you're trying to do some OSINT, some reconnaissance, et cetera, you can use these automated tools to make your life easier. Obviously, you can do the manual way too. You can go out and you know look on Instagram, look on LinkedIn, look on Twitter and gather all your information. But if you can use this Intel to actually do it for you, why not, right? Uh, I, I've used a lot of tools, automated tools to, to find information or even to do some pen testing. And you know, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. So never feel like a quote unquote script kitty or whatever you wanna call the folks that use these kind of tools. But obviously for beginners, this is really, really good to understand these concepts, right? So it's from LB Hacker. So congratulations on this cool tool. Thank you so much for contributing to the community. So if you ever watched this, kudos, thank you. So he updated, uh, he did some new commits about four days ago, so it's pretty relatively new. So we know it's up to date. And we can see a little image here. And if we come down, you know, obviously this ha you know, gives you a little bit about the tool. We just read that. And what operating systems are, you know, does it work with, right? It works with Android, it works with Linux and Unix. And how to install it. This is, the, this is what this video is all about, installing it and how to use it, right? So it's pretty simple. If you're using like maybe Ubuntu or something like that, you would have to install Git. But if you, if you have Kali Linux, Git is already installed. So you can just copy this. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal and go to whatever, go to whatever um, uh, folder. Oops, I messed this up. Didn't, didn't copy correctly. That's probably my bad. But anyhow, this is it. Let's go ahead and just copy it or download it. So now if we do an LS, we can see CD into Al Hacking. Okay, so if you come back here, we can see CD into it and then just run bash alhack.sh. So let's just do that, right? All right, so now this is the tool. So let's come back and look at the warning, right? So I wanna convey this as well. We are not responsible for any misuse or damage caused by this program. Use at your own risk. What does this mean? So if you're using this for multiple purposes, right? If you're using this on an engagement, make sure you have permission to utilize these kind of tools. And if you're using it for, you know, maybe gathering your mom's information or some kind of relative like, oh, hey, Pat, can you see if there's any information? Make sure you have permission. This is not a tool that you can just willy nilly utilize because without permission, anything, right? I can't go into your home without permission because that's trespassing and I'll probably get shot, right? So at least where I'm from, so like, make sure you have permission to utilize any kind of tool that I'm showcasing, right? If it's some kind of, you know, pen testing tool or ethical hacking tool, just make sure you have permission. That's super, super important, right? All right, so let's come back here. So let's make this a little smaller. So it's a, like I said, it's an Albanian cool little pen testing tool and it has different kinds of tools here. I don't know what this means, but this is probably an Albanian, I have no idea. We can just probably copy it and just go to Google, Google Translate. Let's see. Um, let's see if it just detects it. Okay. 
Albanian requirements and update. Cool. That's how you can understand the tool better because I had no idea what the hell that meant. So, and this is another Albanian. So let's just go ahead and copy this because those, those other ones are pretty self-explanatory. And let's just go ahead and paste that here. Uninstall and download the program. Okay. So that's means uninstall it. Okay, cool deal. So everything else is dark eyes, uh, red hawk, side info. So let's go ahead and just do the phishing tool. Let's see what phishing tool they include. Let's go ahead and hit number two. And we'll go ahead and wait. This probably says install. I'm assuming I don't speak, uh, not Romanian, uh, Albanian. So yeah, so it's using Zfisher. Obviously I showcase uh, Zfisher on my channel, so you can check out that. But you guys get the gist. You can select an attack for the victim. So you can do Instagram, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, etc. And you can just test this out and see, or if you're like working and you want to do some of these like uh, phishing campaigns or something like that, just to set up a, a site, you can use like Nginx to do port forwarding and you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much this tool. So let's go ahead and do zero, zero for exit. Okay. And thank you. Let's have a good day. Let's come back here and let's see what else we have here. Let's look at number 12. I'm not going to showcase every single tool. You guys can look and check it out. So let's go ahead and look at Red Hawk. Okay, let's do number 12. It's going to install and do its fancy stuff. And once it's done, you see here. So we can see like the uh, CURL or crawl, a module is missing, try fix or uninstall PHP crawl and blah, blah, blah. So we can just enter the website you want to scan. You know, for an example, I can just do infosecpat.com and we can do number two for HTTPS because I am secure. And let's say for an example, let's just do a who is. Let's do number one. And it's going to do a who is on infosecpat.com. And, you know, this is all <laughs> public. So it's not like uh, it's, it's doing anything bad. It's just scanning and seeing who is uh, doing a who is lookup on infosecpat.com. Scanning complete, press enter. Okay. And then let's go ahead and use quit. Let's do an LS. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, let's see, CD to tools. Like I said, I never use this tool. Uh, this is just downloading the tools for us. Okay, cool. So let's just CD dot dot LS. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this. You know, like if you want to continue checking this out, you can just, you know, do some other stuff like a Gmail bomber. You can do site info, face bash, you know, auto IP changer. Just check them out and see what you think. And put in the comments below, what is your favorite tool on the Al tool, you know, the toolkit. And, you know, maybe he wants to know as well, what is your favorite tool? So. That's all for today. I hope you have a beautiful day and happy new year. It's coming up. Hopefully 2024 has been great for you. And you know, 2024, I hit 100,000 subscribers. So I want to thank each and every one of you folks for subscribing and supporting the channel for the last four and a half, five years. And let's see what 2025 has to bring, you know? So thank you so much and have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.